Hey guys, hope all is well. My name is Junid Maksud and today we will talk about the latest release from the Reloadly theme which is an amazing customizable widget for your website. So let's get right into it. So we have been receiving multiple requests from the community to create a widget that you can add to almost any website with zero coding skills and get people to buy top-ups. You asked and we delivered. We are here with an amazing widget that you can just add to your website in less than 5 minutes and you do not need any developer to do so. The widget enables people to publicly purchase top-up from your website without needing any registration or anything. They simply use the widget and do a one-time transaction and that's it, they're done. The widget currently only supports Stripe as a payment gateway, more will be added soon. So let's start by checking how the widget actually works. So the widget can be installed on your website in two ways. If you're using a WordPress blogging website, you can simply go to the plugins and search for Reloadly plugin and simply install that. Uh, I will be demoing all that process in this video for WordPress as well. The other way, if your website is not a WordPress blog, you can simply go to the Reloadly dashboard and they'll give you a widget code and you just copy and paste that on your website and the widget starts working. We are going to be looking at both ways on how you can use either of them to add the widget on your website. So the first thing first, we have to log into the Reloadly dashboard. Once we are logged in, we simply go to developers and widget. This simple form is the only configuration that you need to do to get the widget up and running. So the first thing required is the website URL where you're gonna be using the widget. So let's just add a test URL here. We also have the option to add the authorized IP address, which is optional. If you don't have this field, you can just leave it empty. The last thing we need to add is a payment gateway. This will be how your users will pay you for the top up. Currently the only supported gateway is Stripe, but we are working on a bunch of other payment gateways as well. Do let us know in the comment section below which gateway you would like us to add next. For the time being, we'll simply select Stripe and add our publishable key and secret. If you do not know what Stripe is, it is a payment gateway that lets you take payments in credit or debit cards. You can register with Stripe for free. They only take a small percentage of what you make. So there are no fees to register. So let me just get some test keys to add here. Once I have added the test keys, I will simply click the generate button and the system will generate a widget code for us to use. Now that I've added the Stripe keys here, Reloadly by default automatically hide your keys here. You can however reveal and update them if needed. The next thing we have is the theme. The theme color is the one that's going to be used for the whole widget. So you can either have a blue widget or a red one or you can even go ahead and pick your own colors, colors from the color picker. Once you've selected the color that you're interested in, for now I'll simply use the blue one. We click on update to get the widget code. A widget ID and an HTML widget script is automatically generated here. So if you're using the WordPress plugin, you'll simply copy the widget ID and paste it in your WordPress dashboard. But if you're doing it on a non-WordPress website, you can copy the script code and paste it anywhere on your website and the widget will show up. So in this video, we are going to look into both processes. Let's start by working with the HTML widget script first. So I'll just copy this and I'll create a simple test website on this test URL for us to paste this widget script and see everything how it works. So I've simply created this test website. It's a simple HTML based website. Any website will work. So this is what it looks like before we add the widget. It's a simple website with dummy content and everything is working fine. So if we go to our editor, we just edit the HTML file. 
so we are editing the html file where all our code of the website is we just scroll to the bottom of the page and we find the closing of the body tag and right before it we paste the script that we have copied from reloadly so just like that we simply save this file and if we do a refresh everything should be working fine and there we go so our website has loaded and we have this top of mobile phone widget showing up so if you click on it it's the complete flow for a top up and it's connected via reloadly and it already has our stripe details so if a customer enters their phone number here and click next it's automatically gonna detect the operator and you they can add, select the top up amount that they want to proceed with they click next and they add their card details and they cl click pay and that's it see how easy it was we simply copied the code from reloadly's dashboard and we pasted it inside our website's code and the widget starts working so now that we have checked the script type let's quickly turn this website into a wordpress blog and we'll look into how we can add the wordpress plugin to our website and use that to generate the widget code and we are back now on the same url we have a wordpress website it's a brand new first installed website any old website will work just fine the first thing we have to do is go into the admin panel of the wordpress dashboard so we go to slash admin or wp dash admin or whatever your admin url is inside the wordpress dashboard we go to plugins and we click on add new plugin in the search bar we write reloadly and we simply click on install now it's going to take a few seconds and it's done now that the pl widget plugin is installed we click activate and our plugin is activated now once the plugin activates we will get this reload the airtime menu item in our wordpress dashboard so let's click on it so we need to go back to our reload the dashboard and paste the widget id right here so we go back to the dashboard we copy the widget id and we just paste it here and we click save and that's it if we now visit our blog our widget should be working and there we go the widget pop-up is working just fine we can click on it and it works exactly the same way there we have it we've looked at two different ways of adding the reloadly widget to your website we checked out the whole flow for the wordpress plugin how to add it to your wordpress blog and how to activate it with your widget id we also looked at the script way of doing things where you can just copy the script code and paste it anywhere on your website it does not matter what website you're using you can copy that code and paste it in your html anywhere and it will work just fine that is it for the video of today hope you enjoyed it and found it useful we are always trying to improve so feel free to add suggestions to the comment section down below or you can also visit the reloadly website and contact support if you need any help regarding the widget make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel to so stay tuned we will be coming up with a lot more videos to help you guys out with your journey with reloadly so take care and i'll definitely see you in the next one